important are these pictures? There are just tons of these um, pictures by Charles Tini Harris. How important are the pictures to incorporate with this um, exhibit? Well, th this has been a long-standing tradition of ours to, to tap into the resources, the source materials, so that uh, we can, you know, make sure that, which Dr. Harrison underscored, the, the importance of getting it right. And all too often, um, with this, uh, the advances in technology, we're finding that our, our youth and, and those who are researching these topics are stopping at that point. You know, on, you know, you can't get everything from the internet. And the importance of one of the the important tools for historical preservation is the eyewitness account. And if we don't continue to to take advantage of the opportunities. Uh, let's face it, we're going to lose another generation of knowledge. And so we hope that by capturing the essence of Pittsburgh past, tying it into Pittsburgh present, that will be serve as a catalyst to encourage those who might have an interest, and in, particularly this year, we're focusing on music, to do some further research, some more in-depth research, and to seek out you know their relatives and their friends and and their 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 families and and their elders and really like I said take advantage of one of the most important aspects of historical preservation which is the eyewitness account mm -hmm. definitely definitely and why do you think that the idea of Pittsburgh and jazz music is a little taboo that people don't know much about it why do you think that is well um, I can't say for sure because I think it's very well known. Um, Pittsburgh has been dubbed the jazz capital of the world due to the, the sheer number of outstanding contributors in, in that genre. And so I'm not certain it's not well known. It might not be well known here, but internationally, uh, the fact that Pittsburgh is on the map for jazz is certainly very well known. And uh, if you just look at the, the, the lines of, of outstanding performers uh, from the Earl Gardners to the Billy Strayhorns to the, the Ken Clarks, and once again, as the, you know, most of us on stage um, you know, conveyed that to the audience, that this list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And even Dr. Harrison brought to, uh, to light uh, some of the lesser known but equally great uh, jazz performers who were giants in their own rights throughout the uh, the years and you know the 20s the 30s the, the 40s uh, those folks who who really helped to, to nurture and to support the great migration which really contributed towards the influx of African Americans into this community bringing with them their values and their music and you know and their skill set so you know we're really excited to be able to present this and to really focus on this particular topic this year.